Sheikh, he said, one of the issues about a Sheikh Ibn Baz is that he was well known, Khwani, to be an individual who had an extreme love for the poor, those people who are fuqara. He was well known to shower them with his mercy and to defend them. Some people have said that one time the Sheikh, whenever a person was a poor person came to his majlis, it was said that the poor person had the ability to raise his head up, to straighten his back in the majlis of a Sheikh Ibn Baz. He wasn't looked at as being downtrodden and poor. One time there was a poor man who was in his house and when the sheikh came out, some food was brought for the people to eat the food. And this poor man was sitting at the tray in which the sheikh was going to eat from along with some other guests. And one of the people who was an employee, he was working, he was there with the sheikh. He told that poor man to get up and go and sit at another tray of food as opposed to sitting where he was where the sheikh was going to be with some of his guests. So the poor person, he did that. He got up and he left. So after everything was over, the sheikh, he asked his family members, did something happen at the lunch? Because he couldn't see. Did something happen at the lunch that he should know about? And no one mentioned anything. They all remained silent about it, but someone told him yes. And he told him the story of what happened. So the sheikh became upset, he became angry with what transpired. But he kept it within himself, and he didn't share it with anyone. So at the dinner time during the same day, when the majlis was open, the same worker who told that poor man to get up and go and move to another tray, when he came in the presence of the sheikh, the sheikh began to rebuke him, and he began to talk to him and deal with him for what he did, in defense of the poor person. And they said for a half of an hour, he started talking about the virtues of the poor people and the seriousness about dealing with them correctly to the point where he himself, he began to cry. And in defense of the poor man who was dealt like this, the sheikh caused that other man who dealt with him like that to lose his job. إِبْغُونِ الضُّعَفَاءَ فِيكُمْ فَإِنَّمَا تُنْصَرُونَ وَتُرْزَقُونَ بِضُعَفَائِكُمْ بِدُعَائِهِمْ وَإِخْلَاصِهِمْ يقول بعض أهل العلم وإنما كان دعاء الضعيف أحرى بالإجابة لأنه لا ناصر له من الناس فيصدق في اللجوء إلى الله تعالى The Sheikh, he said, in the way that Sheikh Ibn Baz dealt with this issue and defended that poor person it is, in actuality, the execution of the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ who said, be good to, take care of, look after the poor people or the weak ones from amongst you, for verily, you people are given victory, you're given help, and you are provided for because of the poor people or because of the weak ones from amongst you. You're helped, the hadith said, because of their dua and because of their ikhlas. The sheikh said that, some of the ulama of al-Islam, they said the meaning of this hadith that you were helped because of the dua of the weak ones because the person is weak. When he makes dua to Allah Ta'ala, he has a tremendous amount of connection to Allah because he doesn't have any helper except Allah Azza wa So when he makes that dua for the people, then as a result of that, his dua is more apt to be accepted by Allah Ta'ala. <laughs> ومحبته للناس محبة الناس له تشهد لذلك وقد سألته بنفسه في سيارته كنت راكبا معه فقلت له يا سماحة الشيخ لا أعلم أحدا من الناس كبيرا أو صغيرا ذكرا أو أنثى إلا يحبك ويثني عليك فما سر ذلك The Sheikh, he said that the Sheikh Ibn Baz, he had a clean heart, a pure heart. The Sheikh went on to say, that's what I believe, that's what I think. Allah knows best. He said, and 
One of the proofs of that is this is why the people loved him so much. This was the strongest witness to the fact that his heart was so pure and clean. He said that I personally asked him once time when I was riding with him in the car. I said to him, oh, respected Sheikh, respected Sheikh, there's not anyone that I know of, whether he is a big person, an elderly person, or a younger person, a man or woman, except that they love you. Why is that? How will Sheikh and Yataharab? وكان يصرف الحديث عن عن يصرف السؤال عن الموضوع ولكني الححت عليه فقال لي لا اعلم في ذلك الا انه ليس في قلبي غل على احد من المسلمين ولا اعلم بين اثنين شحناء الا سارعت للصلح بينهم The Sheikh said that when he asked him this question, he saw that Sheikh Ibn Baz tried to escape answering the question. But he insisted on pushing the point and asking the question. So when the Sheikh saw that he was asking the question this way, Sheikh Ibn Baz told him, Rahimullah Ta'ala, I don't know the answer to that, why all of the people love me like that. I don't know the answer to that except that I don't have anything of negativity in my heart, hatred, rancor, enmity, animosity to anyone of the Muslims. And also, I don't know about any two people from the Muslims who have a disagreement between themselves or their opponents to one another and they're fighting each other, except I make it my business to try to make between them an islah. <laughs> عدم انتقام الشيخ لنفسه وهذا هدي النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عندما قالت أمنا عائشة رضي الله تعالى عنها ما انتقم النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لنفسه في شيء قط هناك قصة مشهورة أذكرها بعد ترجمة الشيخ الشيخ said another thing إخواني is the fact that Sheikh has never heard of anything that was more amazing than the fact when you look at the character of a Sheikh Ibn Baz, from his character, from the strangest issues, is the fact that he never sought to get revenge from people for his own personal reasons. He never was an individual who would act again in revenge for people who did him wrong. And this is in connection to what our mother Aisha radiallahu anha said about the Prophet of Islam sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when she said the Messenger of Allah never sought to get revenge from people for himself ever. Sheikh said there is a story that is well known that I'm going to share with you now. كلما كان الشيخ قاضيا قضى على رجل بحكم فلم يرض فلم يرض ذلك الرجل وأخذ يتكلم في الشيخ ويعرض به وفي ذلك الوقت سافر الشيخ للحج ومات ذلك الرجل في أثناء وجود الشيخ في الحج ولما قدم للصلاة عليه رفض الإمام أن يصلي عليه وكان من طلاب سماحة الشيخ لشيء في نفسه فصلى غيره عليه فلما رجع الشيخ من السفر وبلغه الخبر غضب وذهب بنفسه إلى قبر ذلك الرجل وصلى عليه ودعا له وترحم عليه 